Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Massey. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I did these two pigtail braids. I'm going to stress the extremely beginner friendly because this was my first time doing it. <laughs> This is my first time doing another hairstyle outside of my natural hair, meaning this is my first time doing something with added hair on myself. I usually get my hair done by people that know what they're doing, but this year one of my goals is to try and learn how to do my hair myself, especially when it comes to hairstyles with added hair. I'm gonna let you hear my thoughts and comments that will be at the end of this video. But for now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of my content or more videos like this. Without further ado, I would love to jump straight into the video. Before I get started, I wanna show you the supplies that I have on handy. I went to my local beauty supply store and picked up a few things. One being a fine brush. I usually replace mine. I don't really slick my hair back a lot, but when I use my fine brush with gels, it just gets dirty. I also don't take the time to learn how to clean it, so it's whatever. And I also bought this one on Amazon. It's more skinnier. I don't know, we'll see what that does. I also bought Style Factors Edge Booster. I do remember using this in the past and it's also a water-based gel. I don't wanna apply water to my hair today because I want my hair to look as smooth as possible as opposed to wavy like this. So we're gonna see how that works out. I got these scrunchies for my hair. I got it off of Amazon. Also got some rubber bands and black hairpins. I only have rose gold hairpins. I definitely needed black for this specific hairstyle. Wrap strips to slick down the edges. This is what they look like. This has been used a few times when I get my hair done professionally, so this will be my first time using it on my own. Hope all goes well. And then I have two packs of pre-stretched hair, 52 inches. I got one off Amazon and one at the beauty supply store. I have two packs just in case I feel like the hair isn't enough. That's basically it for everything that I have here. Let's get started on this hair. My hair is fairly clean. I just washed it the other day. I just put it in these twists. But I do want to try to straighten it out a little bit without using too much heat. So I'm going to use my Rev Air reverse air dryer today. If you don't know what it looks like, this is the base for it and this is the tube where my hair is gonna go through we're just gonna try to get my hair as straight as possible for these next few minutes Now I'm gonna take my needle comb. I don't know the exact name for this, but I call it a needle comb because this part right here feels like a needle on the scalp or just something very sharp. And I'm going to try to get the straightest middle part 
as I could possibly can. So please, bear with me. Now I'm going to take my gel and my fine brushes and put it into a high pony like this. Getting them high was too hard for me, so I decided to stick with low. I'm about to do my edges and quickly put on the wrap strip so my hair won't puff up. I did end up using water with this gel. I didn't like the way it made my hair feel. I don't do anything crazy with my edges. I really just make sure it looks sleek. Ow, that hurts. Wow, this brush is fine. This is okay with me. Now that that's done, I have to quickly figure out how to put this on. Does it stop? Oh, okay. So do I tie these? How does it work? I know I placed them like. Oh, they stretch. Oh, I was afraid they were gonna rip. This is cool. That was eventful. While my edges and hair is laying flat, let's get started with these braids. I wanted to do two braids on each side. I don't think this is enough. I don't know how to feed in hair. <sighs> this is not enough hair. I'm gonna add a second piece to this without trying to cause a mess. And I'm going to simply attach it. Now it's basically just one big old bundle and I'm going to wrap this, the rubber band part, to my hair. Oh, my hair is getting hard from the gel. Oh, no, no, no. Around through my hair. Actually, oh my gosh, guys, no. I'm making a mess, hold on. I wrapped it around a scrunchie so it's more secure. The rubber bands were just given flimsy. Now I'm going to tie this to my hair. This is a learning experience. I'm gonna leave out a little piece to hide the scrunchie. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna clip it to the side. Do I even have hair worth of three sections? Like, what's going on? I think this needs to be a little bit thicker. Okay. I'm gonna braid as tight as I can. Oh, I'm gonna redo it and try to get it right. I finished one braid and I did secure it with the rubber band. I tried to space it out like where you could see my hair and the braiding hair ending, 
but it doesn't look too bad. I feel like it's coming out really cute. Now I'm going to take that one piece that I left over, this one, and wrap it around the scrunchy part. And now I'm going to secure this with the bobby pins. Now that that's secure, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Two braids are finished. This is what the bottom is looking like. I think I'm gonna trim them with scissors. But the braids look pretty cute. They look pretty cute. I don't know. You let me know. For my first time, I don't think they look too bad. Trying not to cut myself here. Hey. cut my hair either I'm giving myself a mini I don't know where I am alright let me put these scissors down <sighs> this looks so cute what are you kidding me like oh. All right. the braided pigtails came out my hair is coming out a little bit on the sides this might as well have been a tutorial for myself or just something that I could look back on when I get better at this I'm not mad at how it came out 
The only thing is, you can tell that there's more hair here than here. And I used two different packs of hair on this side and two of the same pack of hair on this side. So I think that's where I went wrong. I should have done the same for both sides. But like I said, this was my first time doing this hairstyle. And I don't know if I wanna talk about the back yet. I thought I had a straight part until I FaceTimed my mom. Only for transparency purposes, we're gonna do this. I know the back isn't straight. Right after I'm done filming this, I'm going to wrap my hair so my actual hair won't come out of this braid. I definitely wanna make more videos like this. This is where I'm asking for input. If you have any tips, comments, concerns, just so I could take note and make sure to apply them the next time, please leave this video with a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of my content and more of my hairstyle attempts. I don't know, I don't wanna say fails because this was definitely not a fail. I don't think it's a fail in my opinion. In my opinion. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in my next video. Bye. This isn't a part of the video but I want to show you how I'm wrapping <laughs> these braids. I'm not messing around. I really like how this came out. I know it could come out better but I am content and I don't want this going nowhere. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about.